In the previous video, we revised the relationships between the different angles, and now we're going to have a look at how we apply those relationships. Please will you pause the video and try this example on your own. Find all the unknown angles, in other words, the angles that are marked by variables, and then we need to determine whether EF is parallel to CG and explain the answer. Okay, if we start off and we have a look at what we've been given, we've got a set of parallel lines, AB is parallel to CD, and we know that when we have parallel lines, we can look for three types of angle relationships. We can look for corresponding angles, which are equal, so, uh, co-interior angles, which are supplementary, and alternate angles, which are equal. So we've been given a value of 160 degrees, a value of 60 degrees, and we've been given a 90 degree angle over here. Okay, if we start off by looking at angle X, angle X is in the alternate position to angle 60 degrees. So X will equal to 60 degrees because of alternate angles, and alternate angles are only equal when the lines are parallel, so we need to state which parallel lines the alternate angles lie in between. So we now know that this is 60 degrees. Angle S, X, and the 90 all lie on this straight line, so we know that they will be supplementary. So S will be 180 degrees minus the 90 degrees minus the 60 degrees because they are adjacent angles on a straight line. Now, if we come across to this side of the diagram, we have another transversal that is running across, and it's this transversal here. And if you look at angle R and angle E, they both lie on the same side of that transversal, and they both lie on the same side of the parallel lines relative to each other. So R is actually the corresponding angle to 160 degrees, so it will be equal to 160 degrees, and it's because they are corresponding angles because AB is parallel to CD. If we now want Y, we can see that Y and R are actually adjacent angles on a straight line, so Y will be equal to 20 degrees because they will be supplementary. So our reason is adjacent angles on a straight line. And then angle P is equal to 20 degrees, and that is because it's vertically opposite from Y. So P and Y are vertically opposite angles, so they will be equal to each other. Now, if we take a look at the second part of our question, they are asking us whether EF is parallel to CG. When you are trying to find out whether those two lines are parallel, you need to look and see, are there a pair of corresponding angles that are equal? Are there a pair of co-interior angles that are supplementary? Or are there a pair of alternate angles that are equal? So, if we just take a look, and I see that I didn't finish this calculation, S was 180 minus 90 minus 60, which is 30 degrees. So we know that S is 30 degrees, and we know that Y is 20 degrees. S and Y are actually alternate angles between the lines EF and CG. Can you see that there is a Z shape there? But they are not equal. That's 20 degrees, and that's 30 degrees. So that immediately tells us that EF is not parallel to CG, and the reason for that is because the alternate angles are not equal. So we can see that those lines can't be parallel. If they were equal, then we would be able to conclude that the lines are parallel.